let us solve a uh, given lpp using uh, simplex method and uh, this is a simple simplex method uh, meaning we have uh, a less than or equal to condition as uh, the constraints are given and uh, generally they would uh, ask the question also with the keyword you know use simplex method directly so whenever the question is given we are supposed to first check according to the algorithm that whether it is a max z question or a min z question and if by chance the question is given as min z then uh, obviously that we convert the question in general english that majority of the times they would be using and the question is we have an objective function called as max z equal to 4x1 plus 10x2 and these are subject to the constraints subject to the different constraints given are 2x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 50 then we have 2x1 plus 5x2 less than or equal to 100 then we have 2x1 plus 3x2 less than or equal to 90. These are the different uh, constraints that they have given and also there is a non-negativity condition which is mentioned. x1, x2 are two variables which are always positive. This is the non-negativity constraint. So this is the given question. So our objective first is to check whether the question is max or min if it is converted and we know it. And in the second step we have to check the constraints whether we have all the constraints to be as less than or equal to type. So that means this is a normal simplex method and easy to solve just follow the algorithm of simplex method to attain at the initial basic feasible solution the next step is we bring the actual given lpp into standard form so how do we do that how do we bring that to the standard form is that we have to write down the objective function at the first step as it is 4x1 plus 10x2 now the constraints that we have we have 2x1 plus x2 since it is less than or equal to it is clearly understood that we have to add a slack variable called s1 so that it is equated to 50 same way we have the second inequality let us convert it it is 2x1 plus 5x2 and we introduce one more slack variable called as s2 and then it is equal to 100 in the third inequality again we have 2x1 plus 3x2 and we introduce the third slack variable called as s3 and directly we equate it to 90. So whatever are the new variables that we have introduced like s1, s2, s3 these are the three slack variables that we have introduced. This is to be represented even in the objective function but the main idea here is we are not changing our objective. There is no uh, you know way that we uh, forego the actual objective that we have. We are supposed to follow the objective or attain at the objective but indicate all these variables variables with no change in the objective that means whatever variables are introduced will be indicated in the objective function with a zero cost so zero so the tables th 